everyone. Hi. Just getting started here. We'll give it a few minutes for everything to get broadcast out. Do, do, do. Let the internet do its thing. Sprinkle out the joy. Tell people that we are live. That we are live. Let me see what this says. Do a little chicken. Check, 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 check the internet. Do, do, do. So, uh, kind of waiting for people to come in. And uh, if we don't get people coming in here in a few minutes, then I'll just get started anyway. And I will. Um... Fill in the details. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in the details and we'll get everything started up. And then you can catch this on the replay. If you need to. Caroline isn't here with me today. She had an unexpected uh, errand come up, and unfortunately, she's not going to be here today, but she'll be back next week, and we will be over on her channel. So, let me get this changed around again. I got too many things going on, just too many things. You know how it goes. Too many internets, interneting. And then, um, yeah, so let's get into kind of the details. Uh, my name is Wendy. I'm with Wendy's Wacky Warehouse. This is my email down below at Gmail. I ship from Southern Oregon. Actually, I wrote some shit down. I wrote some stuff down. So let's see. Uh, let's see. I ship from Southern Oregon. I use PayPal uh, to send you an invoice. If you're not a PayPal customer, you can check out through the guest section. I also use Pirate Ship to keep your shipping as low as possible. Um, I will be packaging purchases after today's sale and hopefully invoicing by Friday. That is my goal. I want to get everybody invoiced before the weekend this week. And uh, da, da, da. other than that, not a whole lot going on. I um Alrighty. I uh brought some Christmas today and I brought some fabric. So let's get started. I know there's no one here yet. I guess we can give it a couple more minutes. Do 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 Oh, fabric, 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 fabric. Lots of fabric if you want it today. All right. have some Christmas here today. Um, let's start with the doll. So we have a snowman doll. Snowman, snow woman angel. A snow ain't a snow angel. There we go. Um, got a little wooden nose, some little uh, holly here on the cap. Um, she's a little, uh, hook to hang her from, uh, from her wings. So she hangs really nice and looks really cute. 
She's got a little sign that says, let it snow. And she's got some cute little, oh, I need to retie her bow. Her bow has come untied. Well, that's not good. Let's tie her bow. It's halfway there anyway. And we're going to ask $5. So I guess I should, I could do that if I remember how. Let's see if I remember how. Let's see. No angel I have no idea. That might be angle. A N G E L. Gel. Got it. Angel. Snow angel doll. $5. Okay. Now, if I click on it, ha ha! Huzzah! We are making progress. So we have a snow angel doll. She's got her little sign. She's got her little bows. We put another bow at her ankle at her little dangly feet. She's got this lovely little hanger. It's just a little piece of twine like jute, all natural. She's just got the happiest fluffiness. So she's $5. And if you would like to claim her, just use the word doll or snow angel. So there we are with her. I remember to flip back and forth. All sorts of things, I, I new things to remember to do. So like I said, Caroline uh, is not going to be with us today, but she will be back next week and we will be on her channel. So it's just me today and I've got some Christmas and some fabric. So we're snarting with the snow angel doll. She's $5. If there is something that you would like to see that I have not shown, please feel free to drop a message in the comments and let me know. And since it's just me today, I can kind of go pick. I've got some stuff close to me, some Christmas, some fabric, and some jewelry. Um, but if there's some other things you're interested in, just let me know. Um, most everything I have to sell is close at hand. Um, until we get into the garage when the tubs, the, the tubs to, to go back down through will be even closer. Oh, thank you, honey. Look at, he's so sweet. Closing the door and all that jazz. Okay. I'm going to do a lot. A group of Christmas stuff that I just think should be sold together. So I have got... These are little, <laughs> these are little packages that goes on your, that go on your straw and it makes it look like you're, I thought they were so cute. Sorry, I don't mean to get squealy, <clears throat> but they were just the most adorable thing. So you get this brand new package of, oh, my bad. It is brand new. No, it isn't brand new. <laughs> Some of them have been used. Or do they give you extra straws? Are you serious? They give you extra straws? 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I was right. They are brand new in package, but they give you extra straws. So they give you enough straws so each package has its own straw. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just the packages and you provided the straw. So, better than I thought. Straws provided. Packages and straws. Enough for uh, six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enough for six people to enjoy at a wonderful party. So, there's those. And then these are called big dots. And there might be some missing. I'm not positive. Uh, but these are large package package tags. So spread greetings, not germs. Grah. These must have come out right at the right at the uh, 
Okay. So these were from 2020. Guess how I can tell. <laughs> That's almost funny for making something. Um, so you get these pack of 2020 ornament things from quarantine. <laughs> Corin tree. Oh, Corin tree. Oh, Corin tree. Okay, these are funny. They do still kind of are relevant just because of the whole it's not over yet. So these are really fun. Just amusing ornaments. The year we stayed at home. So these could be fun for doing like a uh, photo album or something from that season. This could be fun to decorate with these. These are also very thick. They are not flimsy pieces of paper. So these are our thick cardboard. Then, um, what else? Let's throw something else in here. Jingle bells. Some jingle bells. So we have jingle bells. We have the package drinks, and we have the 2020 quarantine tags that are nice and thick to be used. In my opinion, if you were doing a, um, your photo album, these would be great for your 2020. Uh, anyway, so all of these together for $5. So we have a Christmas lot for $5. So let's change this banner. I'm working on it here. Uh, okay. So you get the Christmas lot for $5. And the bells. If anyone's interested, just put Christmas in the chat and I will know what you are interested in. All right. So Christmas lot. Jingly bells. Jingle, jingle. Okay, let's get this set to the side. Trust me, if you get this package, you'll know which one it is when it's coming. Hard to mistake all them jingling jingle bells. Going jing, 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 jingle, jingle, jingle. Okay. All right. I have this. Let's see. I have this little snowkin. Snowkin? Snow, snow kid? Kid in a snow suit, kid transforming into a snowman, his face is going, ah! No. Um, this is a Kelly toy from Los Angeles, California, the year 2000. And yeah, that's all the information it really gives. So Kelly Toys USA Inc., Los Angeles, California from the year 2000. So we've got this little dude, and I think dude needs a friend. So this happy little angel ornament is going to go with him. He's got a buddy. He comes with a buddy. So we've got him and his buddy. And what else is in this tub of Christmas stuff? That, oh! Got a little tin. Oh, what's inside the tin? I bet there's more tins in that. So let's throw all the tins together. And I thought I had something else Christmassy in here. Besides ornaments. Giant ornaments. Oh, this would be fun. Here we go. Here we go. Now I know. So this is another. We're going to do this one as a Christmas lot too. We're going to call this one. If you're interested in this one, it's going to be the stocking lot. So you're going to get the flashy stocking. Super bright red. Super shiny. It's plain on the back side. So you get the 
the stocking and you get the uh, the stuffy toy the stuffy oh and their happy ornament so you get all three items for five dollars and this one we'll call stocking so you get the stuffy the stocking and the little ornament for five dollars hi apple oh it's so good to see you five dollars for that christmas lot for those of you just peeking in i also had this at the very beginning the um snow angel for five dollars so everything so far has been five dollars just doing some christmas lots to start out with I've also got fabric. Hey, I like a good lurker. I'm I'm a lurker myself. I I have no problem with that. It, it makes me happy just to see there's somebody out there listening. I could ramble for hours, trust me. I try not to just because, you know, but yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> So let's see what else we can find. Making dinner. Wow. These time differences, I can never get used to it. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon here. We're usually making lunch right about now. There we go. Get that off of her and do a double check. I think she's all in one piece. Yeah. She needs her hair redone or at least combed. But I've got another $5 doll. This one has the most beautiful glass blue eyes. And let me see if she's signed. I don't see anything on the head. Sometimes they sign them on the chest plate. Hi, Donna. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I hope you do. You guys have a wonderful celebration. Ah. Okay, I don't see any markings on her. The back of the dress has a small tear and her hair's a little wonky. But she's a nice, tall doll. We're going to charge, I'm just going to ask $5 for her, so I need to make a new banner. Oh, yay! I'm so glad. All right, let me make a new banner. This is just going to be, um, I'm just going to call it doll. She is dressed in a Christmassy red dress. So no, this one. Alrighty. Ha ha. Hi, Kathy. So we've got this doll. She's gonna be five dollars. She is porcelain. She is not marked on the back or her chest. She does have porcelain hands, and all of her fingers are there. Let's see if it'll show it. Sometimes my camera will, but I think I just have too much going on in the background again. I try to usually put a block up, but I didn't get to that today. But she's got all of her fingers, and she's even got fingernail polish on. Or at least the fingernails are tinted. There, look at that! I did it! <laughs> We're going to get this figured out, won't we, guys? All right, so she's got nice fingers, nice hands. She has these... She has porcelain feet up to aha, up to her knee and then she's soft 
bodied or up to yeah right about her knee just above the shin there so these are all porcelain everything's well attached she's got leather boots on she's wearing this beautiful christmas dress probably needs a little cleaning Well, I'm thank thank you so much for coming. So sorry. It's never fun. I mean, the world today we're just losing so many loved ones so quickly. I'm so sorry for for you. I just I'm glad you're back, and um. Whatever you need, you just let us know. This is such a supportive community that, yeah, I, I'm really glad I could help out with the uh, with the recipe. So, anyway, the world is. I hide. I hide in my house like all the time. Go into my friend's house to do a fabric sale. I've been trying to get her set up that we're doing tomorrow. That's the most I left my house, and it's just whew, the whole world. Good. Hmm. I'm so glad. It's just wonderful. I'm I'm really hoping that my friend can can also find a place. She needs a few extra buddies out there in the world on occasion. And you everyone in this era in this these groups are just so so amazing. So her hair is on, but if I if I pulled real hard, I could probably get her wig off. But I don't want to do that. We do indeed. So five dollars for the Christmas doll. All righty, what else can we pull out of here? I've I've Christmas things up for a while. I keep stuffing things in, in containers. All right. So let's go with these ones. Let's go with these and I got some candle things, but I have to wait until after the summer to try and sell them. So I'll start selling the candly Christmas things. <laughs> yes, I could. Actually, that that looked a lot more like a wool, a roving product. So I've got to inspect it when I get it and 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 check it out. Okay. Yeah, I I know I I'm I'm mm -hmm. that's that's yeah and bad. There were really good deals. I I couldn't I couldn't turn down some of those deals, but that means I've got to sell some stuff. It also means that anything I've been holding, except for yeah, I think it means anything else I've been holding, I'm gonna get shipped out. So Shanika's metal flower and. Uh, uh, a couple other items are going to be definitely on the way for shipping. I've kind of held a few things for a bigger, to get bigger boxes going. And I'm like, no, nope, let's just keep on. It's it's time. I've had them for uh, 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 over a week. So let's just, let's get them starting to ship out the door and get people their, their, their stuff. So they're all happy and cool stuff. I'm kind of having like... Oh, I know. I, I, I know. I know. I really know. Um, she mentioned she was going to be moving over to whatnot at some point, and I'm not a big whatnot person, so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll buy these things now. 
See, there's another place I have a really bad habit with, and that's um, Spectrum Art Creation. And they do sales on Saturdays. And it's new stuff usually. Sometimes it's used, but... Yeah. I have to be really careful. Alrighty, so this... Next thing, let's get this set on the banners. Thank you everyone for being patient with me today. Doing this by myself and I'm trying to make sure I get a few a few things in. So, uh, so Caroline is normally on the ball with all these wonderful uh, banners. And um, so I'm trying to, I wasn't, I didn't do, I what? Uh, uh, there's usually a, a pre thing you can set them all up in. Hey, Marcy, it's good to see you. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys watching? Are you guys watching flipping in the background? Because, well, I am. Shh. I've got it. I've got it muted and I've got it way tucked under and I'm not looking at it very often because. I'm not supposed to be buying. Caroline is fine. She just had a, uh, uh, wasn't available. She had an unexpected errand come up. So um, she's out running her errand and uh, taking care of what she needs to. And uh, I'm here. And uh, next week she'll be back and we will be on her channel again. So I have a set of three Christmas boxes and these are like Victorian they're covered in Victorian paper uh, Christmas scenes and like what people love you know the Victorian stuff with all those fun Christmases done in whites and creams and beiges and pearls and all those fun. So there's the lid of the box. Get it to focus in and maybe not on my face. Yeah, I know. But every once in a while, you see a really, really good deal. And you know, I like to, my big thing is, is I like to get good deals so I can give good deals. Because, I mean... And inside is another box. And it, like the other one, has the design all the way around. And then inside that box, is a third box. So you get the three, the nest, uh, the set of three nesting boxes decorated for Christmas, even the bottoms. Check out the bottom. Yeah, even the bottoms all the way around. You can use these as gift boxes. You can use these as a stackable decoration. You can do all sorts of different things with them. So we've got, oh, and the inside of that box. The insides of the boxes are decorated as well. It is not just the outside, the inside of the tops. So these are fully decorated nesting set of three boxes. Decorated in a Victorian Christmas style. You get all three of them for $5. All you have to put in in the chat is boxes. And we'll know exactly what you're chatting about. If you're watching it on a replay, feel free to send me an email or leave a message in the chat. And I will get back to you right away. We'll get things out. I don't have the chat form posted, but I'm pretty sure um, if I don't have your information, you can email it to me. Um, I'm not, let me try and post that chat form. I'm not positive if I can. She had it way up here. Post 
that? Oh, that's not how that goes. Oops. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to do that. <laughs> All righty. Uh, let's do some ornaments. Okay, or some decorations. We're doing large decorations now. And I think we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go... Okay, I better spell it like they spell it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We've got... These are giant silver... Oh, I forgot the price. Five dollars. Wow. 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 Dollars. Five. Oh, look, I can edit. Come on, quit thinking and just do it. Save. Oh, I have to save it first. Then we can click show. Yay! Woohoo! We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. So we have large. Point, silver poinsettia ornaments, sparkles and flashes and all sorts of goodies. And there are one, two, three poinsettias in there, and then there's a silver trumpet. So three poinsettias, a silver trumpet, and those are large poinsettias. Here we go. We'll do the head test. Stab myself. Stab myself. Ah! Death by point study. So, fairly large. Covered my face. It's sitting on my nose. It's the nose test. So, three large poinsettias. And then, you also get a package of Bright Star Plastic Icicles. Brand new package, never opened. Look at that, look at that old price tag on there. Big value, three for 88 cents. How long ago was that? So brand new, 900 strands, flame proof, tarnish proof. Um, for best results, vigorously shake card to which icicles are attached. Lightweight plastic icicles sometimes adhere to each other. To separate, just pinch between fingers as you remove them from the card. Made in the USA at Bright Star. What was I? What? What? what I was singing something, wasn't I? Nope, it has uh it has it down at the bottom. Look at that, it's on the label. I am repeating the label. <laughs> it's printed on it. I hope they counted them. <laughs> so you get both of these packs for five dollars you get the icicles and the large poinsettias one silver pack of christmas for five dollars just use silver and i'll know which pack you're talking about okay we're going to get both of these together, too, because I don't want to deal with them. Ha! I love it. 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 So.
so we're going to change this and it's going to be red and gold and that's all i'm going to use to describe it it's just red and gold so we now have uh, a large pack of red ribbons, red ribbon ornaments, and gold stars. So this is our gold star. focused so gold star with some two beads on it three-dimensional nice and fat and there are one two three four one two one two three four five six of those one of them has a little broken on its end and then I don't even know how many of these red ribbons are in here and they are double ribbons with gold and really long tails. I love how long the tails are on there. And I'm not positive how many are in this bag on this. I would say, I would say close to a dozen. Um, over six. But let's see, one two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'd say there's close to 12 in there, at least 10. Um, I counted six and that didn't even touch the ones on this side. That was just what was happening over here. So, but, so you're going to get all of these. And then you're also going to get a bag of the red and gold snowflakes. And I'm not positive how many of each are in there as well. Um, they'll come in these. Well, I'll, I'll try and clean up the packaging a little and get them packaged up nicely for you. But these, these ones do like to leak glitter. And the other ones do have a tendency to leak glitter and beads as well. A few on occasion because they are older. Hi, Bonnie. Oh, thank you so much. Caroline's not with us today. She's had to run an unexpected errand, but she's fine. And she'll be back with us next week when we are on her channel. It's so lovely to see you. Oh, I'm so glad you got your package well. Ah, oh, makes me happy. Yay. <laughs> so today we have got for $5.00. The red and gold ornament packs. This is very lightweight in the shipping. It will be probably in a larger box because I really don't, because <laughs> uh, I really don't uh, want them to get crushed. And they really, with their, look like they'd get crushed. So this is going to come in a box. And I don't think I have a bag that will fit in a box the size that this would require. So just fair warning. Um, and then, so you've got red and gold, $5 for the red and gold ornaments, both packs, $5. Woohoo! Well, thank you for being here, Bonnie. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you who are here. And I'm just, yay! Um, just to let everyone know, I am having a fabric sale tomorrow. I'm introducing my friend, Christine. She wants to start selling and she has more fabric than I do to sell. So it's going to be uh, an interesting day. We've pulled a whole bunch of it out. We've got it set aside and priced and cleaned up and ready to go and measured and all that jazz. So that will be tomorrow. I will be over there with her. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Ah. So I will be over there with her. And um, sorry, I'm trying to get everything situated. And uh, 
have a feeling. Alrighty. So, uh, anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, I'm here, just me, like I said. Um, I've been doing Christmas. We've gotten through some Christmas lots for $5. Oh, the, um, the fabric sale will be tomorrow on my channel. It will be at 1030 Pacific time. So that's going to be 1130 in Mountain. It's going to be 1230 Central and 130 Eastern. I think I nailed them all. <laughs> I'm, I had clocks set up that had each clock had the time zones I need to pay attention to. It, I misplaced my clocks. I've got to get them set back up again. <laughs> I will have some fabric today if you're interested. I can definitely do a little bit of fabric. I've got some pulled to the side here. Ah, sorry about the wiggle woggle. I'm still trying to figure out how to, to get my my situation set up. I'm going to, I've been taking everything that I want to keep when I take to my next house, because this house isn't permanent for me. And I've decided to put it all upstairs. And then I can put out my pretty things in that area or pack them down in that area. And then the garage can become nothing but me working. So uh, selling um, for our sales, crafting, all that will be out there and um, a little more conducive. And I can always bring a table in, but having, if I opened up the door and you saw what was in the living room, it's just mounds, mounds, some of it's crafting stuff and some of it's stuff to sell. So all in all, it all needs to be in the garage in the end. So that's what we're working towards. So some fabrics, some fabric. How about some Christmas fabric since we were just looking at Christmas items. Now, this I actually have not Google lensed or check prices on or any of that. I just want to be able to bring you guys some fun fabric for Christmas because I don't make Christmas items um, like some people do, um, which I'm always jealous of, but getting things done in a timely fashion. If any of you seen me craft with the craft crew, yeah, it gets interesting. Okay, so let's start with green ornaments. I Well, green fabric and red ornaments. Absolutely love this fabric. It is just so cute and so adorable. And let's see. We have got an entire piece. Looks like from salvage to salvage. So that's nice. Fold it in half and give that a quick measure. And that will give us at least our width. Give it a quick measure. Let's see if I can reach the measuring tape. All right. So this is the fabric. See, do we need a light on it? I did plug the light in if we need it. Blinded by the light. Adjust that thing, adjust that thing. There we go. We do need lighting for fabric. There we go. So you can get a little better green and red ornament. Still seems like my lighting's a little off today. Woo. Green and red ornaments, and its width is its width. If I come on this right, so let's see, cross. Come on, fabric. Fabric doesn't like to work with measuring tapes, like ma regular measuring tapes. Looks like it's at twenty-two, so it's going to be a 44, 44, 45. Not a problem. I'm, I'm jealous that it's dinner time already everywhere else. <laughs> so 42 across. And let's see. 
what our measuring comes up. It says happy holidays, H-O-W-L-I-D-A-S, A-Y-S, by Amy Bradley Designs for Moda. Moda Fabrics, 100% cotton. Doesn't give a year. I always like it when they put a year on the fabric. Just kind of does something. And it is right out of yard. Just just a smidge under a yard. I have that I have that hand where I can I can do that. And I am I am a I'm a human yard stick. Um so I'd say just a smidge under a yard. So we've got this ornament fabric. And we'll throw the other ornament fabric in with it to make it a lot for $5. So you get that one. And this is the other ornament fabric. It's got little dots in it. Let's put some light on that. See if we can get that to show. Put the light on it correctly. There. That makes a difference. So it's this uh tan beige base with little dots and then a red ribbon with your gold jingle bell and a little piece of green uh foliage just to kind of make it look festive and a couple actually it looks like it's got a couple of holly berries and holly sprigs on them so this piece of fabric La, 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 la. Choo, 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 choo. All right, this is also from Moda. This is Royal Holiday, designed by Debbie Strain for Moda. Also, 100% cotton. Hi, Bridget. It's excellent to see you. I'm so glad you could stop by. So this one... It's going to be how many on its width? The width is the same as the last one. And it actually looks like it's going to be like 45 inches. They are both 45 inches across. And this looks to be about half a yard. Half, maybe three quarters. Let's put a big, let's put a big measure on that one. And that big measure comes to 28. I'm measuring something wrong. No, 28 inches. So that's 28 inches across. I got it figured out right. I'm doing it right. So 28 inches across. So you get the two pieces of fabric and they are in rectangular shape they don't have any pieces like cut out of them they are folded a bit funny i would have folded them differently personally but that's just me and my ocd when it comes to that put me with fabric and an iron oh man that's my favorite thing to do iron fabric mm -hmm. all day long so you get these two beautiful pieces of Christmas fabric for $5. So we're going to change this now. I'm going to change this banner. And it's going to say Dang it, I don't know how to spell ornament. Ornament. Aha, that's better. Ornament fabric. Fabric, that's what it is. Two pieces. Five dollar. Oh. My fingers are full of typos today. Dollar. Oh, wait, I went too far. Dollar five. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. Ah. So 
These two pieces you get for $5. This one's about a yard. This one's only 28 inches. So you're getting about what, a yard and a half of fabric, I believe. So those two pieces, $5, just put ornament fabric in the, uh, in the chat or in the comments if you're watching it on a replay. All right, so those two for $5. Let's see, we've got snowmen. Let's see. Yeah, we've got two pieces of snowman fabric. We've got one that is black. I really don't mind this one. Um, oh, look, it's got a label to, I love labeled fabric. This is Kathy Schmidt's LLC for Moda. Once again, another Moda fabric and 100% cotton. This is much smaller piece. Easy to be smaller. So one very small piece of snowman fabric. Snowman, 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 snowman. I can't get things to work. Technology just doesn't like me today. It's really, really sad. All right, so we got the little snowman. And oh, there we go. And then we've got different snowmen. These are full on snowmen themselves. And we've got. Trying to figure out where the big piece is. There's a lot of um, smaller pieces. They are mainly square. But there's, ah, there's the larger piece. That's what I'm looking for. We want to see the big piece of fabric, don't we? This is Maker's Holiday Fabric designed for Joann's. Because everybody needs some Joann's in their life. All righty. So this piece seems to be fairly even at this edge. It's got a little crazy cutting. So someone took some stuff off the edges. Got a nice chunk though, right there in the middle that's in good condition and seems viable for usage. I really enjoy the um, my my honey hole where I go and I when I get this fabric, she's already washed it and so it's always nice and clean, and uh, folded up fairly nicely. So there's this chunk here. I would have called that. I didn't measure it. I apologize. Maybe I should. Let's let's put a little measure on it. So let's see. Yeah. 20. So I'd say there's 30 inches of length on a 15 inch wide. So you've got about 30 wide and about 50 or about 30 long and and 15 deep so this is about 30 across with the jaggedness I, I kind of took some off from here to here with this piece like this is 40 inches but because it gets cut and changed i i think that's closer to 30 inches and then it's 15 inches this direction yep this direction because Words. <laughs> okay. So there's those two pieces. And then there's some smaller pieces that go with it. Some of them's got a little dingle dangle. This is kind of the, the extras. Extras are fun though. I've, I'm learning. I've, I've, I've just decided I'm going to try and make some quilts. 
with a lot of extras that I've found. So I'm, and then you've got another, these are two separate pieces, the exact same size. So there's two pieces in this little handful here. And then there's this piece. So lots of little things. You could do all sorts of things. You could make a, um, a stocking, um, a, um, a quilted stocking or, or, um, see now I don't know why you can't use the, the squares and make patchwork and then not quilt it. Is that, is that the same quilting? Is that what you would call it? Um, without the batting, but when you do the the squares is that patchwork and then when you put the batting behind it it becomes quilted i'm not positive that's something i would like to learn all these terminologies and different places in the country using different terminologies i find interesting i want to learn everything like that um, i enjoy i really enjoy learning the british terms for things like trucks or lorries and the bathroom is the loo and just different things like that. I really enjoy learning. Alrighty. So those two fabrics, the snowmen's. So let's let's put this in here so that I can remember what I've what I've decided what I've what I've said because I can't. So we're gonna go snowmen fabric. And you know what? There's not that much of those fabrics. I'm going to call it $3. If you want the snowman fabrics, they can be yours for $3. All you need to do is type snowman fabric in the chat or in the um, comments if you're watching this on a replay. Yeah, those words. Got to remember those words. All right. So. The next fabrics, let's, let's put these in. Banner, I got to do the banner in advance. That's what I have to remember. Not after, but before. So these are stocking fabrics. And I'm going to go back up to five on this little batch. Okay. G -g -g. Aha! It's working. It's working. Okay. So these are designed in Hudson for Joanne Fabrics. This one is. All right. This is Christmas stockings. These are, there we go, Christmas stockings. Woo! Christmas fabric. This one's got some patches, some patchwork in it as well. Some extra bits, I should say. Extra bits. Extra bits. And it's had some cut from it. So let's start with the length. And doubled. So that's like, wants to be two yards. So it is 29 times 2. 29 times 2. 9 and 9 is 18. 10, 2. Uh, 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 29. 2 and 2 is 4 plus 1 makes 50. So that's 58. 58 inches because it's doubled, so 58 inches. And then where the cutting comes in, let's see how we can get a good measurement on that. So let's go. I'm gonna go from the widest point, and that's at like 19. And it's got that. So I'd give it an average of 18 inches down. 
just to cover up and take out this and average out what's missing here. So there's that piece. We're going to call that, what did we figure? 58 by uh, 18. If you average out where all the cuts and stuff are, you get a good 18 inches of quality material you can use on both sides of that. And then you also have this piece, which looks like it's been cut into two. There's just a couple of pieces of flat laying here. They're not really large, but they help out filling in the tiny spots. And along with that piece of fabric, you also get these stockings. So I can find a good spot to open them up at. Okay. These stockings. These are beautiful red stockings on a garland with hearts and stars. Beautiful red colors and shades. So you've got one small piece there. You've got a small chunk here. We got another small piece. It's like the extras came out first. Uh, this is Maker's Holiday fabric for Joann's as well. And another piece. Wow, this is more pieces than this would be a really good one for a, a stocking that you wanted to make quilted or uh, uh, patchwork. Oh, yeah, there's a nice large chunk there. Large piece there. It's got some, it's got enough we can measure. So we'll measure. We'll measure. The measuring tape tells us uh, that it is 26 inches times 2. So 6 and 6 is 12. And 2 and 2 and 1 is 5, so 52. So 52 inches across. You've got some uh, some cutting, so we'll go the the longest on the the um, fabric, the width that where it is the deep longest is at about 19 inches, and then it gets shorter from there. So 19, and then. It goes all the way up to about 11. So you lose a good eight inches between the deepest, the longest spot and the shortest spot on that piece. Yeah, there's still more. I was like, okay, I didn't think it was quite this broken up, but okay. It's working. It's working. And then there's this piece, which is also a bigger piece. So this piece is, measuring it out again, here we go, is, wait a second, which way, it is, gotta make sure I do this right, cross this way, okay. It is seventeen times two. Seventeen times two is fourteen one thirty-four and add a smidge because it's like a half and then over. So add one more inch, so thirty-five inches uh long. And it is the width is then call it 15 and a half, almost 16. It's got some little frilly that sticks out further, so I measured it at the short point. So, whew, they're not all one chunk, but they're a nice little uh, variety and, and pieces of the um, stocking fabric. 
So stocking fabrics, all of those together for $5. And if you see those in the replay and you're interested, just type in the word stocking. All right. Uh, let's see. I do have some other fabrics. I'm going to sell these as a group as well. I'm going to sell these as a lot. They're not Christmas fabrics. But they're, um, they're really pretty. And I think that they go well together. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to call them by lots. So we're going to do fabric lot. And we'll go one. Actually, we'll go A. Fabric lot A. Oh, I forgot to put a price on it. Uh, um, $5. I like $5 today. It's a $5 day. $5. $5. Almost poked the wrong button. Leave it to me. Poke the wrong button. All right. So. These are some smaller fabrics. Um, they're under a yard. Uh, they would be great for quilting, of course, and miniatures. I was going, I've kept, there were more than this many fabric. There were more fabrics in the bunch when I bought it. And I picked out the ones I wanted to use for my miniatures. And um, I was going to, uh, sell the rest for either quilt squares if someone's interested in them for for making a quilt or for someone else who might want to do miniatures. So there's a small piece of this fabric here, which is a peachy color with a gold and tan stripe. I'm hoping that's focusing. And this would be beautiful on a uh, miniature furniture. Uh, it would give a great pattern for, uh, for miniature furniture. So there's a small piece here. I can give you a quick measurement. It's, um, Thirty-four, thirty-five inches, thirty-four inches across, and about nine inches wide. So it's not large. So there's this one, and then this is really small, so it's just kind of getting thrown in. But there's a little square of this um, star, almost. Um, or the July type fabric. Uh, it does have that um, burlap tan background on it. So then we have a couple of pieces of this, which looks extremely vintage to me, very 80s. It's got that little itty bitty heart ivy leaf in it. And then some little pattern around it, little uh, floral pattern around it. So you get this piece, which is doubled over at the moment. Looks about the same nine inches. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the 34. So probably closer to 40. And then we have another one that matches that. It's the same fabric also, also about the same length and the same size. So that one will be in there. And then we've got, this is really pretty. And I can't figure it out exactly. Sorry about this, guys. It's kind of being a little more strange than I thought. Okay. 
So they cut something out of it. So this half of these two panels is what's pretty much usable. It does have a name, Return to Romance, Wilbury Lane, and Maywood Studio. So pretty much what's usable is these piece, these two pieces here. And this is folded in half. So there we go. So right there, there's what's your main usable. You got a little streak of it down the middle. And of course, the rest from the edge. So that goes in the pile. Do, 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 do. Hello, Christine. It's so good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Carolyn had an unexpected errand to run, and she'll be back next week. I'm sure she'll be back for her other shows in the week as well, but I'm not positive. I don't know that, but I know she'll be back for ours next week. So let's see. What else can we throw in that lot? We have two pieces of this fabric. with flowers and okay this one's kind of been cut down oh that's all right I can show it to you again in a second they're just group lots so this is folded in half this is a nice little section with these roses on it this looks kind of vintage little roses Little bells. Uh, I had Christmas fabric, but I don't have Halloween fabric. I'm so actually, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't have Halloween fabric. Christmas, though. I have ornaments. You get both the ornament pieces for $5. I have Santa's. You get both, all the Santa fabric for $3. I have stockings. You get stocky, two different kinds of stocking fabric for $5. See, really quick and easy. So there seems to be a few pieces of this um, flower fabric of different sizes. This one's folded over again. I'm trying to get this stuff to settle and of course it's got all those little stringies at the bottom and another little piece of that same fabric and we're gonna yeah this is fabric lot a uh and then it also includes this little bit of fabric as well these are smaller parts um you can use them for either quilting or miniature fabric or whatever you need it for. So the uh, this lot, so you get the flowers and the flowers, which has all this extra. Then we've got the large flower pattern, the ivy leaf, a little bit of 4th of July fun, and the lattice type. All of this you get for $5. $5 for all of this fabric right here. That's lot A. Oh, that's okay, Kathy. I totally understand. I've got a lot of different fabrics and stuff myself, and I'm realizing I just, I can't keep as many of them as I would have liked. I'm going to ask $15 for this. Um, I'm going to stand up and show it to you. I don't think I have the label on it anymore. Uh, this is a United States Air Force fleece. And it is the, it's the whole shield and 
crest of the United States Air Force. It's a large piece, like its size. Uh, it was made in 2004 by Cycle Enterprises. S-Y-K-L-E. I'm asking $15. And I will put that in the in the batter in a minute. $15 for the large Air Force fleece. Make a beautiful, beautiful Christmas present. You don't have to put the edges on it. You don't have to finish it off. They work beautifully like this. Um, if you'd like, you can turn it into a thicker blanket. So let's put that in here real quick. Do banners, kind of banner. Sorry, typing for me is focus. All right misspell everything woohoo all right air force crest fleece fifteen dollars it'll make a beautiful blanket um great gift during the holidays all right i do have some children's fabrics We've got the jungle theme. So we've got this piece is one yard, 30 inches, 45, 45 inches across, and then it's one yard, 30 inches. So getting close to being that two yards, just six inches shy of two yards. This is a beautiful fabric with lots of baby stuff on it. Well, that's a really good idea to use fleece in the middle. So, speaking of baby blankets or baby quilts, we can start you off with a jungle baby quilt. So here we'll get you a nice lot of, of matching stuff. So you get the this one. And then you get this one which is 44 inches across and 25 inches of Julia Cabins for Quilt Shop by Cranston. And it is these animals in frames. So we've got, there we go. We've got giraffes and zebras. And we've got lions and we've got what that what says that water buffalo or elephants elephants those are elephants so all these wonderful creatures and this is an excellent thing for quilting because you've got everything in its own individual frame so you can literally put it on your batting and if you want to start with that that would be great and then you can use like this is your back stuff um, I know this is small, um, but baby ones don't have to be too big. You can also cut these out, use them as applique on a larger piece and spread them around differently. I thought I had another one. Where's my other? Oh, there it is. I knew there was another one that went along with the, um, with the safari theme or baby animal theme. So then we've got this one. This is 45, 43 inches across. There's 28 and a half inches of it. It's called Counting Two by Two by Patty Reed Designs, made in 2006 for Lori Campbell, part of the Fab Traditions Company. So, there's this one. 
So if you're interested in any of the baby animal fabric, just type in animals. And I got, oh, I, I got behind again. So it's going to be baby animal fabric. And all of the fabric is going to be $5. Told you, feeling like a $5 day. So baby animal fabrics will be $5. La, 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 la. And that'll make a fun start to doing anything. Making pillows. Sometimes you want to do a little pillow for the baby's room, something skinny. You could even do a, a stuffed animal out of animal fabric. That would actually be really cute. Can't believe I just thought of that. All these years I've had that fabric and I just thought of it. Alrighty, we're going to do a lot of cars fabric next. So create that banner. We're going to go cars fabric. Typing. Um... It's another $3 one. I want to start it at five. I just don't think there's enough there to qualify as $5 fabric. So it's going to be $3 fabric. And we've got this one, which is, I want the size, 43 inches across by 32 inches. And it is just covered in a Lightning McQueen. Woohoo! Lightning McQueen. A Varum a Varum. Uh, I don't know the year this is from, unfortunately. It is Disney Pixar, of course. Uh, and it's for Spring Industries. So, a really nice cars fabric. And then the second one is from Cars two it is 44 inches across and 19 inches so you get all your little characters on this one like Gito, the king mater luigi all your all your happy uh characters from the town and from from radiator springs and from all the places that he went so you get both of the fabrics for $3. Just put cars in the comment or in the playback. Yeah, put it in the chat or in the comments on the playback. Wow, words. Yeah. All righty. And then let's see. Let's see. We'll bring this fabric out. It's a smaller piece, but it is vintage. This is a rescued piece of fabric. I rescued this one from um, Sam's Valley. And actually, I've decided I want to use it in my quilt. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I looked at it hard enough and changed my mind. Doesn't happen very often. Tell you what, how about we do a quick review? I've been on here for about an hour and a half, and that'll uh, keep me with enough time so I can craft a little with you guys later on in the week um, or show a craft thing. So for those of you who weren't here earlier, for $5, we've got the Christmas doll. So the doll is $5. She is porcelain with glass eyes. She has porcelain hands. Porcelain feet in leather boots. Um, eh, shit, I don't even know about sometimes. Um, and her hair is a little wonky. Her wig's a little loose, but with a little uh, attention, that could be repaired without a problem. So if you're interested in her, you can put doll in the, um, in the uh, chat or comments. 
can't think straight today, ladies. We've got the Chris, the Snow Angel doll. Snow Angel, Snowman Angel doll. Snow Lady Angel doll with Let It Snow. She's $5. Just put Snow Angel in the comments and I'll know that you're interested in her. Let's see. We have the three box set for five dollars and there's three boxes nested inside of each other all with this victorian design inside outside on the bottom i was surprised to see all the the um the paperwork they didn't miss they didn't miss anything so yeah so they keep opening up and you got your third box on the inside so these are great for christmas for um they stack on top of each other you can put um snacks in one of them maybe um like 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 some of your um candies and wrappers use one as candy box you can give a gift in them they're great for all sorts of different things yeah they're beautiful and they're totally victorian they're five dollars and you can have all three all three for five dollars uh, yeah they're they're they've got great great pattern i love when i opened it up and and the next lid is this one it's like the santa keeps getting bigger and then on the inside there he is and the next lid is a little closer He's like, he's, it's just like he's a little closer each time. So, hi, Stacy. Stacy May, it's good to see you. Whoop. All right. So the stacking, the stacking set of three Victorian Christmas decorated boxes is five dollars. And I had a stocking with a, a Christmas snow baby and a little an angel ornament and the really flashy stocking. All, all of this, this lot here is three dollars no five dollars sorry uh let's see let me see if i can find where i put that and this was stocking Aha! stocking no stocking fabric where did i put it i think i just called this a five dollar christmas lot don't know what i was doing there for a while So all of this for $5. Thank you, Christine. I thought he was too. Oh, if you want to see him out of the stocking, he's all clean. He's all fuzzy. And he's from the year 2000. So technically he's over 20 years old. And I, he's pushing vintage, pushing, pushing really hard. I want to be vintage. I want to be vintage. Alrighty, so that's one set. And then um, we had the set of a crystal. Crystal. The set of crystal. No, the set of silver. The set of silver Christmas goodies. Silver, look at there, I found it. I'm figuring this out. Caroline would be very proud of me. So you have vintage bright star plastic icicles they labeled it they say there are 900 strands in here they counted we hope so uh and this of course was made in the usa and bright from bright star and then we've got 
three of these large silver poinsettias. Kitty in the box. Kitty in the box. Did I have a cat in a box? Oh, there might have been a kitty on the boxes. Yeah. I'm lost. I'm sorry, guys. It's been one of those kind of days. Thank you, Christine. You too. And to let anybody know who's watching, I will be invoicing or I will be packaging and invoicing during this week. Hopefully get it all out by Friday. Got to get the got to get the uh, storage spot cleared out the where I've been holding holding packages to make them bigger. So three of the big poinsettias and one trumpet. I know only one trumpet. Go figure. Oh. Seize the emoji. Got it. Oh, I see. I understand now. <laughs> okay, so for $5, you get the icicles and you get the poinsettia dudes. Yeah, there we go. So anyway... That's about all I had today. Um, I do have some more Christmas and some other items. If there's something that you want to see, I will happily bring it. I see that I've still got a few of you here. So, yeah, please feel free to type whatever you're looking for in the chat. I can do a jewelry. I can do beads. I can go grab a different tub and do more fabric. I can... I actually have a set of fabric. <laughs> I have a set of fabric uh, that's that were cut for quilt blocks that I I I don't need. I don't want to keep. If you guys want to see that, I can definitely do that. How do I do that? There we go. Um, That's not expected. Well, that was unexpected. I found other fabric. Wouldn't you know it? Oh, I found more fabric. He's going to drive some people crazy. Okay. I have a list written down somewhere and how many pieces of this fabric that I have and what what and all in all oh Mr. Alpirende oh it's so good to see you today oh yay Mr. Randy okie dokie doo doos Okay, so somebody started something, and I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what it was supposed to be. Okay, yeah. So, there's this blue fabric in between the layers of whatever they were doing. I'm not, I'm not sure. If it was me, I'd probably tear it apart. But it's got this fabric on this side. Well, let's show you what's on this side. This side goes from this square to this square to that square. Oh, they did that all the way across. And then back to this. Okay, so that was one row, evidently. And then the back side of that row looks like this. 
So it looks like they were trying to do sailor stuff because we've got like anchors. Okay. And that's all slowed together. It's got this blue fleecy like a material in the middle. Soft. And slightly thick. Okay. And then we have another like it's like they started the squares. It's like they started a square. And then there's the blues already cut. And then I've got a stack of these squares already cut. All of these are large, done large, done, done, cut in a large square. There we go. So these are what one. See if I can get my type measure to work. They look like they're supposed to be 10 and a half inch squares. So something tells me that they take and they leave, leave a quarter of an inch on each side for sewing. So they're supposed to be at 10 inch squares to be in the pattern, I believe. So you've got these, you've got these, and these are thick stacks. These are like... Um, about a dozen at least and you have these and you have some of these and then you've got extra strips and pieces of the reds so i was going to sell this entire thing the whole kit and caboodle pieces and all um so let me make a banner, 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 eat a banner. What's it going to say? It's going to say sailor quilting kit or sailor kit, sailor kit, sailor kit, sailor, sailor. I don't like that. Sailor fabric squares, fabric. Sailor fabric. Oh, hey, I forgot a price. What are we what are we gonna price that stuff at? What do you guys think? It's bigger than most. So we gotta go a little higher than five. But I really don't want to go to ten. We call it eight bucks. Eight bucks sound good? I like that idea. Alrighty. Sailor fabric, eight dollars. Gets it all. You get the whole stack. And mind you, these are folded in half. I have folded these squares in half. So you get the whole stack of fabric. There, that's a better look. Look at all those layers. Layers. So layers of fabric and the blue and the stuff that's pieced together. You can tear it apart if you want to and redo it to whatever makes you happy. Happy, happy, happiness. We need happy. We need joy. We need fun. We need fun. We need just something on a bun. I don't know. Don't always remember the words. That's why I put my own in. <laughs> so, yeah, mainly it was Christmas today. Mr. Elpage. Randy! We will be on Christine's channel next week. The snow angel and the Christmas doll say thank you for coming to see us today. We're sorry we didn't have more. Like I said, if there's anything you guys would like to see in future sales or um, during a craft show or what have you, just let me know. Um, let's see, tomorrow. I will be on my channel introducing my friend Christine. It will be her first time streaming. And uh, 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 her first time streaming, she has more fabric than I do. So we're doing a fabric and craft purge sale. She does have some things. She has put some lots together. Like she has a bunch of Christmas fabric and a Christmas bag with some other Christmas goodies. And she just keeps, as she finds them, she just keeps loading them into the bag. So, um, 
excited to do that with her tomorrow and we will both be in the same room so that's kind of a neat thing for me instead of having someone across the country that i'm talking to on the on the camera or pairing up with on the screen there will actually be uh we will be in the same room so i'll be helping her out and i look forward to seeing everyone there uh, sorry, I don't have more advertising out for it yet. That's something I'm still learning how to do is advertising for my channel and my shows. Uh, fingers crossed that um, that will be my next thing that I master. So uh, between that and reorganizing my house to get a permanent crafting and streaming station set up, uh, we're just doing our best to, to get things taken care of this season. So uh, Christmas coming. I will have Christmas items between now and all the way up till Christmas, unless I sell out of Christmas. If I sell out of Christmas, I think I might have to throw a party. It it would be bigger to me. It would be just as big, if not bigger to me, than reaching 100 subscribers. I'm like, every time I get close, I'm at like 93, then it drops one or two, and I'm back at 91. And you know, it takes it takes the system a while to get everything the right way. But if I if if I manage to sell out of all of my Christmas stuff, that's just as big a deal to me, if not bigger than reaching 100 subscribers. So um, any help with uh, your desires for my Christmas stuff? And if the price is too high and you want to pay like four dollars instead of five, let me know. I'm um, I'm willing to work with you. Just send me an email and go, you know, I'll take it all for this set price. And I'll be like, my hero. So <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I appreciate everybody who came by today and uh, is interested in anything. If you see it in the playback, in the in the replay, like I said, please feel free email me or leave a message in the comments and um yeah make a deal with me i i got i got stuff i got stuff and i i want to see it move i have a really bad habit of of purchasing things that um i like more than the stuff i've got and the only way i can keep it is to get rid of the stuff i've got overflow moving and all sorts of crazy stuff life in general so purging and cleaning all the time if there's anything in particular you're looking for please let me know also i need to promote the summer ween sale which i will also have a video in um i think mostly what i'm gonna have is costume stuff i have corsets and i have other goodies that well, I've had longer than, than I'm trying to convey the fact that my body no longer fits into them. I've had them, I've had them for so long that my body has outgrown them. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to move a few really beautiful things along and um, I look forward to seeing everyone. Uh, don't forget tomorrow at 1030 Pacific time, I will be on with uh, my friend Christine doing a live uh, uh, fabric purge. Uh, she's pulled some beautiful fabrics aside that she just doesn't have time to work with. Beautiful stuff for kids, beautiful stuff for adults, um, project stuff, blankets, quilts. She's got a little bit of everything. So. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, if you've missed anything or just joining, hit the replay, and um, here, I should take that down so that you can see my email address. Go look at there. So, like I said, if you see anything interesting, feel free to leave a message in the comments or email me. I just keep yammering, saying the same thing over and over, and you guys don't want to hear that. So, I love you all. Mwah. Thank you so much for everything, and we will see you tomorrow. And next week on Christine on Caroline's channel. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble now. All these C's in my life.